In this video, I will explain what is LED. LED is simply light emitting diodes. Now, we will see a case where electrons are being drifted from valence band to conduction band. When this will be possible, when the electrons at valence band are able to get energy thermally, so at higher temperature this would be able to accept higher amount of energy so that this will go from valence band to conduction band leaving hole here. So now these electrons are here. Now this transition was able to occur because electrons at these positions has got an energy more than energy gap. This is the energy gap. If the energy is less than energy gap that, ca that can jump to conduction band. Now for this transition to happen, for this drift to happen, it should get an energy more than the energy gap. See now this has become here more than energy gap more than energy gap and the energy gap is 1.8 electron volt. Now if this electron comes down and recombine with the hole what will happen whatever the energy that has initially accepted that will emit outside. Now the energy emitted would be in the form of photo photon or I can say that this would be electromagnetic waves waves EMW okay now the energy associated with electromagnetic waves are H nu and not all the frequency is sensible to human eyes only frequencies in certain range are sensible to us. So we know the spectrum, right? So only in the visible spectra, that is violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, these are visible to us. So let's say the emitted energy is E and frequency due to that is equal to E by H. Then if the frequency, if this frequency belongs to the frequency of any of this electromagnetic wave, then we are able to see the light. If this frequency is more than this or less than the visible spectra, we can't see that. Sometimes this would be in infrared range, sometimes sometime this would be in ultraviolet range or different value. But only when the frequency is in this range, then we can see that element. That is the reason we have chosen a material having an energy gap equal to 1.8 electron volt. Because when the energy gap is 1.8 electron volt, then whenever the electron comes down and recombine with the hole, the emitted energy would be 1.8 electron volt and we can substitute the value here, even Planck's constant here, then the frequency would found out as matching with the visible spectra. So we can't, we can see such light. Okay. For that, we need these electrons the minority charge carriers to recombine with holes. See these majority charge carriers how these are generated you know due to trivalency here and due to pentavalency at here. So these are not gen thermally generated. See the electrons which are jumped from the valence band to conduction band these are thermally generated electron hole pairs or thermally generated charge carriers and this has happened because this was previously able to accept energy and take a position in conduction band. Now only when these electrons come back and reunite with these holes the emission of photon would take place or I can say that there would be an emission of light here in this case that would be in visible spectra. So we need thermally generated electron hole pairs and thermally generated electron hole pairs are nothing but the minority charge carriers. Majority charge carriers are due to acceptors and donors. Here in this case acceptors, here in this case donors. Here in this case due to trivalent impurity here in this case due to tetra pentavalent 
impurities okay now we need the electron to recombine with hole for that what we will do we will provide an external potential difference now this potential difference will shrink the potential barriers so potential ba will ba barrier will you know shrink and the thickness will come to a value such a way that there won't be any depletion region now what will happen this electron can electron from here can easily jump across or move across the depletion region and they can recombine with the holes and on recombination that will emit energy now recombining means that is coming back back to valence band on recombination this electron when they occupy the position of hole which means now the holes are here silicon 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 now this was the hole okay this was the free electron for example okay these are electrons now this free electron comes and recombine with the hole now this electron would be a part of bonding having a lesser energy from higher energy to lower energy how does this takes place by emitting energy in the form of electromagnetic waves and that electromagnetic waves is in the visible visible spectra so we can able to see light so on using material with different different energy gap the frequency of the emitted photon would be different so that the color would be different so we are able to get red orange yellow green blue or yeah Vibgeor, any color from Vibgeor using the appropriate value of material having the energy gap. Okay, so this is the process. This is very important. Photo LED is collected in forward by us and the light is emitted due to the process of recombination of combination of electron hole pairs. Okay, thank you.